What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTJ Edition. Oh my gosh, 42 episodes in, man. I feel like we started this series just days ago. Carrasco, 84 games, 98 goals with 41 assists. You just can't make these stats up, man. I mean, I probably could, but I'm not a good enough editor to be able to make those stats up, man. That is some real stats right there. This guy's been amazing. And you guys have heard me rave about this guy for the last two or three weeks. But it's time. Every great story has an end. It all comes to an end. You know what I'm saying? Every story has to end. And this fairy tale ends like this. Carrasco no longer part of the team. We bought him for 176 then we're actually going to end up selling him for 193. Now you're probably thinking, Skills, why are you making this move with stats like that? What could possibly be better than Carrasco? Well, first of all, I got to list up Gareth Bale as well. 98 games played, 56 goals, 70 assists. Both of these players were absolutely gorgeous. But it's time to move on. Again, every story, every book has to end. So it's over. We're going to list him as well. Now, on Carrasco, we made money, but on Gareth Bale, we lost money, so we're going to pretty much break even. Now, Booyah Nation, if you're enjoying this series, smash this thumbs up. And with the guy that we are about to invest in, if you are a fan of this man, if you love him in this game, smash that big old thumbs up. As you can see, I'm looking for an entire BPL team. Now, I feel like this episode today is kind of like the staple of the series. I feel like this is something we've been chasing since day one. I've talked about him since the first week of this, the first five episodes. My man Paul Pogba, Mr. Dab himself, Mr. Beast Mode himself, probably the best regular CM in the game. If it's not him, then it might be Nygolin. The dude's an absolute stud, and it's time to invest. We have 507k in the bankaroni. That's what we got for selling Gareth Bale and Carrasco. And again, we lost some massive contributors. Now, I want to talk to you about this. You probably like skills. Carrasco could have stayed in the BPL team if you ran Lukaku and you ran the boy KDB or Dembele. And I understand that, but I wouldn't have had enough money for Pugba had I done that. So sometimes in life, you got to give up something you really love to get something else to be able to try to... I wanted to put a full team together and I felt like holding on to Carrasco was like holding on to a relationship that just has no go. It's just, it's just, it's just not going to work out. Right? You, you might be in a relationship where you love the person, but it's not really working out no more. And you know you're both just hurting each other at this point. It's time to let each other go. That's how it is with me and Carrasco. Gareth Bale was a super sub for us. We were rocking him as a super sub, so there was no point in keeping him. I snatch up the boy Paul Pugba, leaving us with 87,000 coins. I'm going to a full BPL team. And you probably could tell I'm trying a different formation. Am I going into the weekend league with this formation? Nah, chill, 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 chill. What I know is the 4-3-2-1 and the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. I will not jump into the weekend league not knowing what I know. I know I could play those two formations. The 4-3-3-4 is something I've been interested in dabbing a little bit in, trying to figure it out, trying to learn the formation. So I'm going to use Division 1 to try to learn that formation with my brand new team. Anthony Martial himself. I mean, this guy we've highlighted on this channel way too many times. I don't even really got to talk about him. I find him for 14,000 coins with like 14 contracts on him. He's going to be our striker, man, which leaves only one position open, and that's the left wing position. There's the boy Walcott. There's the boy Sterling. Both their regular cards. Both something I'm truly interested in. Anthony Martial, I can't, a striker. Erickson playing Cam behind him. Uh, our right wing, we're going to be rocking with the one, the only one to watch, Mani. Uh, in the back, I kind of like Alonso. He's been good for us, so I'm going to keep him. My man uh, uh, Smalling and Bellerin will be our defense unless weekend league rewards bring us a lot of coins. Because if it does and we can invest in a legend center back, then your boy just might take that route. Now, you're probably saying, Skills, before you sold Carrasco, why didn't you just wait for the weekend league rewards? Well, here's the thing. I'd rather just have BPL substitute someone like Sterling just to have Carrasco off the bench. First of all, though, his game stats, like the stats he has is from him starting. The moment we started bringing him off the bench, he was never going to have stats like that. So I decided, you know what, man? Selling him and Gareth Bale right now instead of waiting for rewards is the right thing to do. Plus, rewards come out now on pretty much Thursday or Friday. So right when the rewards come out, the weekend league starts. And I want to have a little bit of time with this team to develop a kind of a chemistry with them and me playing with them before I jump directly into the weekend league. So right here, I'm going to pick up the boy Walcott for about 2,000 coins. 
give or take. I was looking for the one with the most contracts, and I was also looking for him with the left wing one, but I end up buying him in a left forward and have to change him to a left wing because that, that was a new move on my part. But as I was saying, I'm dabbing into the 4-3-3-4. Uh, if that doesn't work out, I'm going to switch in and, and play every single formation throughout this week. Try to figure out what the best formation is for this set of players. Anthony Martial, Walcott, um, and the boy Monty. In the midfield, Erickson, Paul Pugba, and Conte. And that's the biggest thing I think we can sit here and talk about. We haven't had a strong midfield. Not like this one. This is by far the strongest midfield we're ever going to be having at, going into the weekend league. Paul Pugba and Conte together, that's a force to be reckoned with with the red Erickson. Uh, he's a playmaker, so we definitely have one of the strongest uh, midfielders, we, midfielders we've ever had. Our, 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 our attack, well, our attack kind of took a little bit of a hit. Carrasco and Gareth Bale compared to one to watch Mani and Walcott on the other side. Yeah, it's definitely not as good as Carrasco and Gareth Bale, but still, we got a much improved defense. I mean, midfield, we have a solid defense that's gotten us very high in the weekend league. And uh, now we have an okay, not a mediocre midfield, but definitely an okay or above average a strike force. Because as you know, Anthony Martial can put it into the back of the net. Also, if I don't like Anthony Martial to strike a position, I can always move him to the left wing position. Have the boy one to watch Mani on the right wing. Anthony Martial left wing. And then we could put the boy uh, red. 87 rated Lukaku at the striker position now this week actually could also bring us the monthly rewards that could be out in a day or two so we don't know what we're going to get out of our monthly but maybe we get something out the monthly that can really help this team uh and and that could be absolutely incredible now I've played three games with this team this game you're watching is game number three now this gameplay is not a gameplay where you're gonna look at me and look at my gameplay and look at it and be like you know what oh man he's really playing well in the 4-3-3-4 I just want to show you a competitive game see the game before this when I actually played against a, a, a member of the Booyah family a member of the Booyah nation because uh, his team name was Booyah family and it was an awesome game but I scored a lot of goals man I ended up getting a lot of goals and uh, it was it was kind of it was kind of just not the type of game that I wanted to show uh, because I didn't want to just show me scoring a bunch of goals and the game before that one I tied two two um, so I wanted to show you a gameplay where and I I, I, I tied 2-2 with the guy only having two shots. So I want to show you a gameplay where the guy attacked us, where we saw our defense on display, our midfield on display, our attack on display. Now, I usually don't give you guys full gameplays, but I do want you to see how the 4-3-3-4 plays with me playing it. And you can tell me in the comments down below if you think I've, I, I fit this formation, if you saw too many gaps throughout it. Because as you're watching this back, I'm watching it back for the first time with you. And I'm going to tell you if I see a lot of gaps. Right here, this guy brings me down. Uh, Alexandro brings me down. He's actually not going to get a yellow card for that, but that was just a really weird one. I thought Erickson fell on top of him, but it just looks like a WWF play right there, man. It looks like it looks like John Cena versus The Rock or something, man. But I want to kind of see where the gaps are. Now, what I've heard about the 4-3-3-4 is that it's amazing going forward and amazing to hold possession, but it leaves you very vulnerable to the counter. It leaves you very open, like right here. Look at how this guy can counter me. I have one defender back. Smalley makes a mistake. Eric Bailly comes up and saves the day. Then Smalley and Bailly bump into each other, which allows Mertz tends to bring the ball forward but luckily my man Marcos um Alonso is an absolute beast back there. He's super tall, so that's why I like him at the left forward position. Now, early in the game, as you can see, I'm uh, developing a, a kind of a chemistry with this, a chemistry with me in the formation because, as you can see, I'm making passes that I just don't do in the 4 one 2 and 2 Aaron, like, doing a lot of errors coming out the backfield. I'm trying to figure out where my players are at all times. Right here is something I want you to notice with the 4 3 3 4 As I'm counterattacking here, uh, eventually, Mani and Erickson do ca uh, catch up to me. Walcott was nowhere to be seen until now, so I don't really know if this is the best counterattack formation. I wonder if it's a slow building formation. Um, but that's that's the big thing about FIFA Booyah Nation. I want to talk to you guys about that as you're watching. Because you're going to watch this gameplay and be like, damn, Skills, you know what? You look like an average player or a below average player. And that's what the gameplay looks like. Because the problem is, is what this is what people don't understand. In my opinion, formation's like 95 to 98% of winning. Like, that's how you win is being comfortable with the formation, knowing where your players are, where your outlet passes are, where your defenders are at all times, just being comfortable. I've played over a 1,000 games with the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. so when you watch me play that formation, it's like it's like clockwork. I know where my players are going to be. I know where to put the pass. I know what to do. I know how much possession I'm going to have in a game. I know if I have a chance, Anthony Martial doing Anthony Martial type things. Welcome back to the AA9 Skills channel, Mr. Anthony Martial. Look at the banger from outside the box. It goes right by the defender into the back of the net. But just know that, Booyah Nation. Know that 
being comfortable with a formation is everything, bro. It's so important. Like, if you switch to the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow because you've seen a bunch of pros do it, or maybe you watch my channel and you're like, you know what, skills does good with this, so I could do good with it. Yo, if it doesn't fit your play, it doesn't fit your play, and that's all it is to it, yo. Find something that does fit your play. If it's the 4 4 one, one it's the 5 5 three, two, whatever it is, find a formation that fits you and suits you because that's that's winning. That's, that's what causes winning. I don't care if you have the best players. You can literally literally have every legend and every team of the year player. If you don't have a formation that you know how to play and you're comfortable playing with it, you're not going to be good. And you need to find that formation, man. Right here. You know what, man? Free kicks are really scaring me nowadays. I've been suffering a lot of free kicks. So when I see this guy take his short, I was actually extremely happy. As Walcott breaks out here, I have Pugba running with me. I have Marcus Alonso running with me. And I have nothing else. Walcott does a little move to get through. Marcus Alonso is my striker at the moment. I don't like to see that. As you can see, my striker. Look who's playing striker. He still hasn't gone back. He's still not dropping back. And finally, he's making a decision to come back. But not really. Now he's playing the CM role. Now he's taking the striker role again. I send it to Mani. And you can see Marcus Alonso still playing striker with Pugba now so I don't know where my actual striker is Anthony Martial there he is he's actually up there now Marcos Alonso now he's playing right forward for me so I, I pay attention to stuff like this I want you to notice something Alonso just tried to pass the ball to Walker that's my left back and my right back on the same side of the field they're both playing right winger that means I have no right back right now and I have no left back you got to pay attention to these cards, man. Alonso is a fantastic card. He's a great defender, but I do not like his positioning from what I can see from this gameplay. So, as you can see, Erickson doing his thing, finds Pugba. Pugba, the brand new signing. He has scored a goal for us. I can't tell you that much. And I don't really expect many stats for Pugba. I just expect him to win the ball back and distribute it fast to, uh, to Erickson, and Erickson can create. Just like that. Pugba gets it back. Pugba sends it up. Pugba right here is going to chase it down, try to win it back. He doesn't get it. Just chase it down, get the ball back, send it forward, and that's what it's all about. So I don't know, man. Weekend League coming up close. Booyah Nation is starting to get close. I'm really praying for some big Weekend League rewards. I really hope you guys get some reward, some great rewards as well. I truly believe that the monthlies and the weeklies will both be out on Thursday, um, which kind of sucks. I wish they would bring the monthlies out on Wednesday. And if they do, then when this video goes live, you'll probably know if they're out already or they'll be out sometime today. I hope they bring the monthlies out on Wednesday and then the weeklies out on Thursday just to separate them. I hate when they do them both on the same day. It's not cool, man. I, I'd rather have them like separate on two different days. It's just it's better for the content on the channel. I know a lot of people just rather have them all at once, but I'm really hoping we get some weekly stuff and I really really hope that we can get some big monthlies now for the monthlies i'm not even sure what we can get that goes for the bpl i'm pretty sure we can get a money because i think money got an 87 rated card during that month right i think so so we can end up getting the money we already have which if we do then we can sell the one to watch one and make our money back and have an 87 rated money so that could be magic if that does happen anthony martial is also another card we could get so could you imagine if we got a red anthony martial i believe he's a i believe we can get i don't know how he doesn't score there that's just a bad miss. Right now, he's on six chemistry because he's playing striker. He has to play 10 games before he gets the loyalty bonus for us. So right now, he's on six chemistry, which is no good. I want to make sure I get him the seven chem before the weekend league starts. But as I was saying, Booyah Nation, we could end up getting a red Anthony Martial because he's going to be in packs. Also, I think a red Mani's going to be in the monthly rewards. So if we could hit a red Anthony Martial, oh, man. Oh, man, Booyah Nation. I would go mental. I would go mental. That, that would probably be my dream right there, but... Once again, man, we get the halftime. We haven't got suffered on yet, so that's a good sign because we were getting scored on a lot throughout the weekend league. Um, I'm also having a hard time kind of creating at the moment. Definitely having a hard time. So what I decide to do in the second half, as you see the stats, four, four shots, uh, four, three shots on target, and I dominated possession. That's a good sign. But I've decided that I want to see what this team looks like in the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. Walcott will be my cam. Mani and Anthony Martial will be my strikers. Uh, Anthony Martial being the left striker. Mani being the right striker, as Mani has a good right foot. Conte the CDM, Pugba the left CM, Erickson the left, the right, uh, Erickson the left CM, Pugba the right CM, Conte the center back, and the defense stays exactly the same. So as I said, man, all this is a, a trial period. I kind of just want to see what fits me. Am I going to run the four three, the four three two one going into this weekend league, or am I going to run the four one two and two narrow? Is kind of what I'm trying to sort out. And I was trying to give the four three three uh, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a go because honestly, Bullion Nation, it's good to have all this stuff in like. 
in like in like your ammo bag, right? In your ammo bag. You want to be able to have and know a lot of different formations. You want to be able to know if someone's countering your 4-1-2-1-2, if someone's countering your 4-3-2-1, you want to have something else. You want to have a, a plan C, and that's why I'm trying out the 4 3 3 4 to see if this can be my plan C. So, anyways, as we proceed into the game, uh, you can see I am definitely leaving a lot of gaps in the back. I can definitely see that. Right here, Eric Bailly stepping a little bit forward. I'm not sure why Eric Bailly is so much in front of Smalling, but he is. If we were to make some money, as I said, we would pick up a legend. Obviously, we won't have enough money for Fernand. Unless we hit something big out of our weekend leagues, if we if we could, I would definitely go for Fernand or, or someone like Blanc, but they're very expensive. I would take an Alexis Lawless at this point, and I know we've signed him once and had to get rid of him, but we got rid of him due to requirements. Um, so Alexis Lawless would be a guy that I would love to sign back to the team. Just because I'm not a fan of Eric, Eric Baig's high medium, he likes to push way too far forward. Alexandro defends well there, and once again, unable to break down this Liverpool fan. He's absolutely beast, and he's actually giving me a very difficult game, man. He's passing the ball well, and this is the type of game that I want to see in Division 1. I don't like going in Division 1 and winning a game 6-1, 7-1, 8-1. That's not helping me. These are the games that are helping me, because people play me like this in the weekend league. They play defensive. They make sure they leave no gaps. They might, they might throw it on park the bus. They might throw it on ultra defense, and these are the type of games I want to be in during the weekend league or during the divisions so and then when I get into the weekend league I, I know how to break this down and I, I, I want to be able to deal with it here like I see how frustrating it is here I want to be able to kind of cope with the frustration so when I go into the weekend league I know what it's all about man anyways um, I started thinking about this as well now that we have a kind of our core team I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with this team the BPL has done well for us uh, the BPL for me is one of the strongest leagues um, we're gonna have a player of the month uh, BPL player coming out real soon. Lukaku could get one. A couple different players could get one. So I'm interested in starting to dab a little bit into the squad builder challenges and start doing some squad builder challenges on this account now. Now that we kind of sort of got our players that we want, we got the best CM in the game for the BPL. Uh, we got Smalling, who's probably the best center back that you can get in the BPL. Uh, we got a beast one to watch Mani up top. So we kind of got some incredible players. Now as money comes in, we'll upgrade to informs and certain BPL players that are better. But we kind of got the core BPL team down. Man, we might be missing maybe an inform hazard for the left wing position, uh, maybe a couple informs in the midfield. But we do have a red Erickson who's a beast. So we have we have some we, we have a pretty damn good core now, man. Now we can start wasting our money on other things. And one thing I do want to talk about is the price of these fitness cards, man. I kind of put a tweet out, and a lot of people kind of disagreed with me, and some people did agree with me. And I said maybe EA needs to lower the cap on these fitness cards because people listening for so much money is kind of annoying. But people are like, well, we need something to waste our money on. We need something to, for a way to, for us to make coins. But these fitness cards are going for a lot of money man it is a ton and at this point to play the weekend league you're literally going to need like two to three thousand coins the way it's going you're probably gonna need two thousand coins just to play each game in the weekend league because i don't go into two games i play one game and i put a fitness card i don't play around with stam this year man stam is horrible this year so i'm constantly using fitness cards so it's like i'm gonna almost have to pay two thousand coins to play a game in the weekend league. I'm almost paying mad money just to play a game. So maybe I can invest in a second team and rotate back and forth. But I truly believe for you to be successful in the weekend league, you should be rocking up with one team. Know your team well. Know the formation well. Know the players like the back of your hand. Right here, he has a massive chance. Conte can't get there. Eric Bailly can't get there neither. But De Gea comes up with a big boy save. De Gea, 100K. My defense, no one really worth a lot of money, but they're just the good players in the BPL aren't worth a lot of money. In the midfield, we have Pogba, 400K. We have the Ericsson card, which would be worth a lot of money. Up top, we have Mani, worth 300 and something K. Anthony Martial, overpowered, but not worth a lot of money. So that's what I'm saying. We have a lot of money invested in this team. Now, Ericsson here, I thought was going to put the game away, put the little cherry on top, but it doesn't really work out for us. But we can't complain now, man. We have one of the strongest BPL teams you can get. Missing a few players here or there. Uh, the contract cards are definitely, I mean, the fitness cards are definitely getting on my nerves big time. It's costing me a lot of money. I can't really save on this account right now, so I'm going to have to figure out something going forward. We keep getting corner after corner, man. We've had nine shots. My opponents had three. Defensively, we've been pretty good. I've left a few gaps. He's got a few shots off, but I definitely feel like I've been pretty good defensively. And offensively, we created chances. Anthony Martial had a big miss. Pugba had a big miss in this game. So we've had a couple big misses right here off the counterattack, off the corner. This is dangerous. I swap into the boy Conte. I'm kind of reading what he's trying to do. I'm trying to find his pass. As you can see, I'm just, I'm just floating, trying to see what he's doing with Conte. I almost got it off of Dybala right there. I'm still with Conte, chasing down that goal, and now I'm going to finally switch off of Conte, go over to my boy, big boy Pugba. Erickson does well, and Pugba comes.
comes up with a big defensive save in the 80th minute. You saw my weekend league. Your boy was panicking defensively. I've been working all week on my defense, man. I'm chasing down players. I'm reading the game. I'm trying to play more calm football. And this is what y'all need to do, man. Find, like I said in the last episode, find what you're bad at and go work on that in Division One or work on it in Gfinity. Work on it anywhere you feel that you can play opponents that are better than you. So that's what I've been working on, man. And definitely getting out of here with a clean sheet would definitely give me a lot of confidence. Right here, he's in there, Nigolin. I'm still running at him, and I, you know what? If he shoots that to the other side, I block it with Walker. He put it to the only place he could put it, and thank goodness De Gea did his job. So some great chances here late in the game. This is an issue. 84th minute, I don't know why I'm throwing it out here. I shouldn't have thrown it out. I'm actually going to lose the ball as well. Give back stupid possession. I should have held that with De Gea. Once again, I get the ball back with Erickson. I could have played it up to Anthony Martial to ice the game, but instead I lose it. This is something I got to change in the weekend league. I got to make sure I get it right. I mess up completely there, but a great defensive tackle from the boys, Smalling, and that's going to pretty much ice the game. But once again, let's see what I do here. Let's see if I just give it away. I'm still searching for a goal, and this is an issue. Right here, I got to learn how to ice the game. Should I shield it up with Walcott? Do well. Keeping it alive with the boy Erickson. Monty's going to lose possession cheaply again. And now it's going to be another opportunity for a great counterattack. Walker in the midfield defending. Lose out. Pogba with a great block. Falls to Conte. And I missed past the ball again. These are little things. This is the difference between top 100, elite one, elite two, elite three. This is the difference right here. Throwing games away like that. Anybody can get top 100 if you know how to manage your games. I'm not managing my game here well. We played a fantastic game up until the last 10 minutes where, again, I'm kind of panicking. But a good stop from Eric Bailly right there. I get it to my man Marcos. And right there, I was going to run the game out. But that's how it ends, man. The new team, I'm definitely liking it. I liked it in the 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, this guy was a good player. He's definitely a fantastic player. I got him on possession. I got him on shots. And I got him on shots on target. I definitely like the team. I'll keep you updated throughout the week if I like the team, how much I like the team. I'm definitely going into the weekend league with a BPL team. I just don't know if I might add a legend center back. We're going to see what we get out of our rewards for our weekly and our monthly. I wish you guys the best on the weekly and the monthly. Smash a big old thumbs up if you, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. We picked up the best CM in the game. At least the re best regular CM in the game, in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Skills. Love your faces. Booyah. Work on whatever you suck at man i suck at defending i'm working on it i'm trying to get better but i put 325 but i put 225 and i lost mad money i pick up the boy dembele i pick up the boy bai and i still pick up one more player that was a great investment in my opinion smash a big old thumbs up if you're enjoying this series can we hit 20,000 likes for the brand new edition of money one to watch money for 350 i heard too many good things about this guy in the comments down below y'all were raving about this guy so i had to snatch him up my boy conte erickson dembele is our midfield 